whatever we do is always focused on making the product better for the customer. The core reason is to not compromise. And that was the only way we could make a car that looks like this and acts like this was actually to do it like this. I mean, you're pushing everything to the extremes. You're looking for that last 2% of performance, efficiency. And then of course, you know, a V12 quad turbo producing this amount of energy. I think every challenge has been a big one. So when Zevo first came, they came with a TSR, which had their high performance V8 tuned to the absolute maximum. It was struggling with the emissions homologation. But when they came here and they started talking about doing a complete bespoke new engine, it was wanting to elevate the brand it meant that they could push the boundaries of what could be done from an engineering perspective. And that's what excited our team really is like, well, what can we do? And how can we get there to achieve these figures that they want to, but still being a luxurious car that you could sit in and drive all day. And that's what our guys really rose to. The chairman, Jens, there's no doubt in his mind that he wants to do a V12. So this engine is 6.6 .6 litre V12 quad turbo engine, 1,250 brake horsepower, revving up to 9,800 RPM. Needed to be a hybrid system with a further 600 horsepower, and then also needed to meet emissions for the federal US market and for the European market, but not for today, but when the engine comes to the end of its life. So we had to build all that into it. And then one of the biggest debates was if we go for four turbos, it would spool up quicker and you would have a slightly better response. So we brought back that challenge to our engineering team and they started scratching their heads and now they've delivered. It takes a lot of experience. Our guys have been here 20, 30 years. It's pulling on the experience of all sorts of other engines that we've worked on in the past and trying to bring all the best elements. For its form, it's got to work, it's got to operate, but there is a, also a part of it where we're trying to build automotive art, because this is something unique. It's bespoke to anything else that's out there. So we want it to be look as just as pretty as the vehicle. It's got 650 plus components, and every one of them has to work in harmony. There's minute tolerances. We can't be wrong on any one component or the engine just won't work. I think the first thing you see, the four turbos on the top, packaged in the inner V. We're going to keep the hot components away from the body, so we try and keep them inboard of the engine. And then the next thing you start looking at the charge air coolers on the side of the vehicle. It is just a, a, a jigsaw of components that are all working together in different ways. The biggest target that we had at the time was 450 kilometers per hour. So we had to work out, well, what size the engine and what does the performance of the engine need to do based on the aerodynamics. We've got to balance the two. The other part was the 9,800 RPM. So that sound of the high revving engine and also just to make sure that it can do it comfortably. And there's options there in the future to be able to make that engine into a V12 or a V8 or even V10. We have taken many risks and many challenges by going with this level of specification. The benefit of all that would be that the car would be at the same level as all the other hybrid cars that are currently out there, if no more. You know, there's a long way to go to get the performance we're looking for. We have a lot of op optimization to do, and so it's a very, very well prepared program. I think uh, anyone in the business will realize how dramatic it is with these, these projects. There is nothing else like it. Is the world's most powerful V12 engine in a production road car. I'd like to think that with the market going in electrification that that record will stay forever now because there's not many people out there that are going to be building their own engines in the future. Seeing the vehicle running and driving has been amazing. I mean, this engine program has touched every part of our business and watching our engineers pull together to deliver something as extreme and as satisfying as this has been great to see.